Okay, we removed the rear tire. The wheels are shocked. The parking brake is released. And now we can start removing the caliper, beginning with the two caliper slide pin bolts. I'll leave the caliper hooked to the strut tower just like this while we remove the bracket. The important thing is to keep any weight off the brake line. Now I'm removing the two 14 millimeter bolts holding the bracket in place. Once we get this screw off, we can remove the rotor. If your rotor doesn't come off, check the parking brake. Maybe you left it on. Or you may have to retract the parking brake manually like this by turning the star wheel. If it's not rusted to the hub, it should come right off. Once everything is good and clean, I like to add a few sprays of fluid film to the hinge where the spring latches onto. Also the star wheel underneath. Another thing I like to add to prevent rust is a very small dab of anti-seize grease to the hub sections in between the studs. The rotors are coated in a thin layer of oil at the factory which we'll need to remove with a brake cleaner and a rag before installation. It's a lot easier removing the brake line when the caliper is still fastened to the bracket, but better late than never. We have new calipers, but no new brackets for the back brakes. We're going to have to pop off the old hardware, clean everything up, and re-grease before adding the new clips. Next, lube the slide pins. I'm using ceramic grease. That's why it looks white. Clean the slide pin holes and the slide pins themselves before adding the grease. You don't want any old hard grease leftovers from the past. You want all new. Your new brake pads should slide freely in the slots. Without much effort, they should move back and forth like this. If they're not moving freely, or you had to force them into place, or do something like grind the ears down, then stop. Something's wrong. It's a good idea to grease your caliper wherever it comes into contact with the brake pads, at the ears and at the uh, piston.
We just now installed the brake line. We added the slide pin bolts, upper and lower, the top bracket mounting bolt, and the bottom. The star wheel on Suzuki Forenzas are at the bottom. When you adjust the parking brake, you'll want to tighten the star wheel all the way down until the rotor won't move. Then back off the star wheel a couple turns or so until you can barely hear the shoes skimming the surface. Now we'll start bleeding the brakes. Pump it up, pump up the brakes until they're good and firm, then lock into place with a bar and go and release the pressure at the bleeder screw, bleeder valve. Do that four or five times to get the air bubbles out of the system. The most important thing is to check your brake fluid, top it off if necessary. Pump up the brakes until the foot pedal feels good and firm, then go on a test drive. Okay, that's all there is to changing the brakes on your Suzuki Forenza. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.